Hi guys, this is your reading for Monday the 10th of July. Thanks for joining me. It's really nice to be with you. I'm using the Witch's Tarot again today. Let's have a look at what's coming up. And this is a deck that's really kind of realistically rendered. The pictures look really lifelike. So let's have a look at Monday the 10th of July here. Wow, okay, we've got the Magician again. The Magician has been around so much over the last couple of days. We've had the number of vibration of one. Um, it's really a great time for you to make it happen. Let's see what's going on here today. We've got the Six of Cups, we've got the Queen of Wands, and then we have the Magician. So, really simple message. Uh, you, There are people in your life who you can absolutely trust, people who you've known since childhood, people who are like family, people who you can absolutely just trust 100%. Uh, if you're working, if you're trying to uh, set something up or get something off the ground, the cards are saying here that there are people in your life who you can ask for help, who you can start a partnership with, who you can start your own business with if you're interested, but there is value and there are resources available and when you make use of those resources by uh, connecting with someone who you really really trust you can build something wonderful and um, much bigger than either of these people could do on their own the next card is the queen of wands and the queen of wands is someone who is living her life purpose she was the page of wands then she became the knight of wands then she became the queen of wands so initially she had no clue what she wanted to do with her life she didn't know um, that she wanted to be an artist or a chiropractor or she wanted her own cattery or that she wanted to become a queen or whatever she didn't know then she developed and grew more and she became a knight and she was extreme she was here and there and everywhere but now she's mastered she knows what her life purpose is she holds that stick very calmly she's protected and she's able to create so you're able to create by yourself because this is a great day to live your life purpose obviously you've got to know what that is you've got to know what your life purpose is what your aptitudes are and most people after a while they start to realize what their natural aptitudes are what they're good at but for other people, it takes longer. So that's what these tarot readings are for. That's what the astrology readings are for. It's to really um, help you with things like that. If you don't know what your life purpose is, then by having an astrology reading, we can look at your vocational aptitudes and your life purpose so that you can get started on this. Okay, so this reading is for people who are already living their dream, who know what they're doing. It's you can work and create alone today. Nothing is going to go against you. You're perfectly protected. But it's also safe and a good idea to work with others or to reach out and to involve others or to start a partnership or to include other people. It's going to go really well. Finally, we have the magician and the magician is the first it's the number one in the major arcana. So we have the fool, which is zero. Then we have one. It's creation. It's the infinite and never ending process of creation. And the magician has every tool at his disposal. He's got cups and pentacles and wands and swords. He's got everything. And he can really create and he can shape life the way he wants it to. So. On Monday here, regardless what position you're in, it's going to go really, really well. If you're uh, traveling with friends and you're on a trip, it will go really well because you'll all get on and it'll be fun and you'll explore things. If you're an artist working alone, um, selling your art this week, uh, you will do very well with business. If you're trying to create a new business or to set something up, either with another person or by yourself, maybe you are the artist, but you haven't launched the business yet officially, it's the day to do it. The Magician, it's perfect to get things started. Um, looking at this from an astrological perspective as well, nothing is in retrograde, everything's moving forward. The energy can't get much more positive than this. There's trust, there's love, there's life purpose, and there's the universe supporting you. If you take one step forward to create, 
the universe will take one step towards you and meet you in the middle. And this is really the perfect day to get things started. So it's a powerful day to be productive, to be creative and to get something done. To be, to, at the end of the day, to have something done. So, you know, when 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the evening comes around, it would be really good if you could say, today I have achieved A, B or C. You'll feel really good about that. Number wise, we've got 6 and a court card is 1. So 6 and 1 is 7 and 1 is 8. And 8 is power. So you really have the power of the magician to create. And you can do no wrong on this day. It's really take risks, expand as much as you want, um, dream big, be optimistic, be enthusiastic, go for it. You're not going to be let down. It's beautiful. That is such a nice start to the week. I hope you have a wonderful start to this week. It looks really positive. If you would like a private reading with me about your life purpose or your vocational aptitudes, or if you want to find out what's coming up in future in 2017 and beyond, what's coming up in terms of your career, your love life, or um, your family, spirituality, anything at all, get in touch via my website, gregoryscott.com, and click on the readings tab to order your reading. If you like my videos and you want to support me, then hit the subscribe button, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.